All right, guys, so now we're going to be making this render right here. Uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, the fog looks pretty nice. And we're going to be using a displacement map uh, for this desert. Um, and then we're going to be doing some lighting using the default under Legend 5 lighting system. Um, and then we're going to be adding this man right here. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, it's going to be a good learning experience for you guys. So let's begin. Uh, so firstly, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be opening Unreal Engine and you can just open whichever project you want um, or you can just create a new one. Just go to games and then create a blank project. Uh, but I, I like to use one project for a lot of my different scenes. So I just create new levels in that. Um, and the benefit of that is, of course, I have all my textures and stuff like that imported. Although we're not really going to be needing any textures and stuff like that in this scene. However, in other scenes, uh, when we need textures, we just have them without having to import them. All right, so now I'm inside of Unreal Engine 5 and I'm just going to be simply going to File and New Level and I'm just going to be creating a new empty level. So, perfect. Uh, I'm just going to press Control S so that it just opens the save window and I can just name it whatever I want. I'm just going to be calling it Desert SS. Perfect. Uh, so now we're going to simply go ahead and firstly work on the lighting. I can just create the simple lighting setup. So I'm just going to go to Window, Environment Light Mixer and we can create a Skylight and atmospheric light, atmosphere, sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud, and height fog. So now you're going to see most of our lighting is already done. We just need to reposition the sun and maybe um, just go to the skylight and turn real-time capture on. And that's just going to make our whole scene look a little better. Right, so now we can move on to the next step, which is going to be creating a landscape. Uh, now, the landscape in this case, of course, is our desert. And so for that, you're going to need a displacement map. Uh, and you can simply go to the internet and search for desert displacement map so if you search something like that you're going to see that a lot of results are going to come up you can now you can use if you want something uh, with, uh if you want like a very large desert then you can go for something like this because it's going to be this is pretty large um like all these dunes you're going to see they're pretty large right uh and if you want something small like this the one which i used was this one so i'm just going to be downloading that because this is um this of course is pretty good quality it's very high resolution 2000 by 2000 and the credits for this uh this displacement map right here goes to this guy james trail james trelly I, I hope i i hope i hope i'm pronouncing that name right anyways so yeah you have other options as well if you want uh you can even go for something like asteroid displacement something like that uh, if you're going for something more abstract but yeah i'm just going to be using this right here so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be making sure that this is in this is somewhere where i can access it so i'm just going to be keeping it on, on desktop and i'm just going to go to uh mode and landscape mode now inside the landscape mode instead of just creating a landscape like we usually do i'm just going to be importing this from file and now we're just going we're just going to pick a height map file by clicking this button right here and then we can um simply just select this so you can see i already had it downloaded before and i just downloaded it again so i'm just going to be opening this now you're going to see that we're going to have basically sort of like an outline of what's we're, what we're going to see. So I'm just going to be increasing the camera speed so I can show you guys. Right, so I think it looks pretty good. However, right now the problem is that the height of this is way too much. So in fact, let me just let me just click OK and let's see how it looks. I'm just going to be importing this. You're going to see that it's going to look pretty large, right? Obviously, deserts, uh, desert dunes are not this big. So we're going to have to do something to fix that. Right? So obviously, this is way too large. So I'm just going to be control z that. I'm just going to be undoing that. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be setting the scale Z to something like 50. Let's try that. Now, this is trial and error. I would recommend you to um, sort of just try and just see what looks good and what doesn't. Something like that might do the job. Or maybe maybe you can go for even something even less. Uh, so in this, I think it's a little less. I'm just going to be pressing control z Instead of 50, let's do... Um, 30. I think that's much better. Much, much better. Perfect. So now we our landscape is done. And the good thing about this um, displacement map is that it also comes with these minor um, imperfections and the sand formations. So it looks pretty good. Uh, and just go ahead and save all and press Ctrl S as well to save your whole, pro uh, your, your whole project. project. Uh, so now one problem which you're noticing is that if I, let's say if I place my camera here, you're going to see that this part looks pretty good. However, the the part in the back, it looks empty. And in this scene, if you see, we basically have um, sort of duplicated this um, landscape and placed it behind as well. So we're just going to do that now. 
But before that, let me just apply a landscape, uh, basically a landscape material to this. Uh, that material is going to be obviously a desert sand material. So for that, let's go to add, add to Excel content. So once you're inside Megascans, you're going to simply search for um, desert sand. And now you're going to see a lot of these options. Uh, so you can obviously go for something a little more, what do you call it? A little more um, displaced. But I'm just going to go for something which is very smooth and simple. And of course, we can make changes later on. And the reason why I'm going for something smooth is because obviously we have uh, we already do have the displacement which we need. So we don't really have to get extra displacement. What about something like this? Maybe something like this. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to experiment with a lot of these. Um, that looks pretty good. Right, so I mean, all of them look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be, uh, it's asking me to sign in. So I'm just going to sign in and then I'm just going to, I'm just going to be importing all of them, uh, many of them, and then we're going to see which looks good and what doesn't. All right, so I'm just going to be downloading low quality because we're going to be so far that it's not going to be that visible. Um, the bumps and crevices are not going to be that visible. So I think the one which I used last time was either this or this because I already do have them installed. I think it was this one because judging from the color of the sand, I'm pretty sure it was that one. Anyway, so let me just download, I think this was in medium quality, so I'm just going to add that. And let me minimize this, and now I'm going to be selecting the landscape. Let's go down to landscape material, and let's drag this in. So now you're going to see, it looks pretty decent. However, one problem which I am noticing right now, is the fact that this texture is tiled a little too much. You're going to see if I just zoom in so much, then you're going to see that it is slightly visible. So I'm just going to be scaling the texture up which means that i'm going to have to reduce the uv tiling and so i'm just going to be uh, opening this material and i'm just going to be checking this right here and this we can maybe set it to 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 something like that so that we have a slight bit of a bumpy texture to this whole scene which i think looks pretty decent all right perfect uh so that's going to be our texture now i am going to wait for the other ones to download because just so that we can try them Let's try this one as well because I already do have it downloaded. And let's try playing it. Now obviously this is a very different color. So if you, if this is something which you are going for, then I would recommend you to actually go for this. And by the way, I would recommend you to I would highly recommend you to um go for something which you think looks good and just don't copy mine because that's how you're gonna be increasing your creativity and yeah, just use your own ideas and come try to come up with your own ideas. So for some reason, it's not taking that material. So I'm just going to be removing that and I'm going to be adding it again. Perfect. So um, I think we're good. Yeah, I think the material looks pretty good. Pretty good. Now let's move on to the next step, which is going to be duplicating this um, landscape. 